Hello, good evening and welcome to The Little Farmer's Farm with me, Goro Mafinda. An angry wasp type of bee thing, whatever it is up there. Now, so, uh, the other night when I put the floating table in, which is sort of over here, a few of you were saying that uh, you quite like that, the fact that it's not got legs underneath it, but that's good, it's fine, but let me just show you what I'm going to do to reinforce it and make it more stable and stronger going forward. So what that needs is some more 2 by one running underneath there to the end, underneath this bit, and then another one of those supports. So there'll be a 2 by one running to the end, and there'll be another 2 by one uh, batten running from the middle of that to the middle of the table there. Once that's in, all you need to do is get your 2x2, two two, which is this. I'll put it on the tripod and show you. Okie dokie. Guess who's forgot his tripod? Me. Tintin. Tintin's forgot his, he forgot his tripod. This is getting a, it's, it's a disgrace. All the barbers are shut, and the clippers that I've got, I don't really trust myself with to uh, to shape and style any kind of a decent haircut. Um, but anyway, the floating table, yeah, the floating table. I've just completed, but I'll talk you through it. If you check the level, yeah. Along the length, it's straight and true, and flat, and uh, so yeah, both ways, that way, and that way, straight, true, and flat. So in order to create them, which are the sort of like lateral supports, you get your two by one, you put your two by one, and you fit it in, as we've done there, underneath your uh, your panel, your table panel. They're fitted in there, and all that all you do is you make sure that the square so as they run to the um uh, to the two by sixes at the sides that form the shelves of the tiki tunnel, as they run there, we've got this piece that we've fitted in as well, which unfortunately has got a split in it, which you haven't noticed previously, but it'll do. So there's a two by one strip there that I've run off the back plate there. I put this bit in first. So I put this 2 by one at the front first. That was already in because I'd already done that one. Um, so I put that in, put the 2 by one underneath as well. Made sure that it was square using our Yankee square. Here's the exhibit A at the Yankee square. I kind of put that into there and present it up. Making sure it's hard with what we want on it. Present it up like that. It's in the corner, and then that goes, and you know that that's running straight. You just make sure that that piece is running straight. And then with your two by one, what you would do is hold it up to the outside edge, like that, the outside edge, and then mark on, run a line down there. Oh, I can't do this one-handed. It's a bloody pet. What a stupid get for, for getting my tripod. But you'd run a mark along the spider crawl down to it. And you'd run a line along the onto that wood. Take it away. Oops. There goes the spirit level, guys. Take it away and where you've marked it, make your cuts. So you'd cut there and cut there at the handle. There's got to be a way I can show you, show you that, but I hope you get the idea. So once you've cut your angle, then you, on your, uh, you, I've done it with, I've done it with two by two wood here. Um, it just, it's just a basic matter then of screwing that piece, the lateral piece, to the two by one and the six by two at the back. That's screwed in now, and it's solid. I've just been sitting on it. I've just been sitting on that fourteen stone three. Obviously, I didn't sit. I wasn't that daft to sit right at the very end, but I sat here. I sat on the side here, and it didn't move. So, yeah. 
That's all you do. Proper basic shutter in joinery, that, dead easy. If you've got the gear, obviously you'll need a square. Spirit level. I've got two because I'm a fancy Dan. One of them, that's a Black & Decker drill driver. And one of them, doesn't have to be a Makita one, but the Makita are decent tools if you can get them cheap enough. Invest in something like that. And seriously, that is all you need. I, I have a hammer, me, because what I do is when I'm putting in these bracing pieces, like like this, in, I always favour an, an extra couple of millimetres longer than the gap is. And that way you've got to persuade it to go in with one of these. But that persuasion adds strength to that. It'll keep it in place without screwing it. But once it is in place, it makes it dead easy then to screw through from above or underneath or whichever way you want to do it. I do it from above so that if the screw does by chance end up sticking out through the wood, it's not going to interfere with your surface. It's going to be underneath where it's not going to cause any bother. Unless you've got a little kid rooted about underneath and he stabs his head in it. So what I also have is a, is, is a steel file, a metal file, and I file off any that are sticking out. I did a few underneath there when I did that, just in case our Bradley decides he's crawling about underneath it or whatever. So yeah, that's the floating table. And that's going to be the potting table. I'm going to put me, me potting up tray and all my paraphernalia onto that table. And that's the location for it. Okay guys, just a quickie tonight, that's all. Um, because I've got to get off for the virtual pub. With it being the bank holiday Thursday, we're having another virtual pub, so I'm going to desanitise, get myself off, get a shower, and uh, into the virtual pub. Okay. Have a great weekend. We've got three days of a weekend over here in the UK right now, and uh, I need it. Oh, there's the handle again from yesterday. I love that. Absolutely love that. You didn't see that yesterday. We put... Uh, we put this on a proper closing handle. Cool. Right. Small things amuse small small minds, as they say. So I'm going to get off now, and uh, I'll catch you over the weekend. We're doing a few uh, a few uploads over the weekend. There's tons and tons and tons to do on these plots at the moment. Absolutely tons, and we're going to show uh, quite a lot of that this weekend as well. If you do like the show, you like what we're doing, please give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe. And um, so if you don't miss another episode of The Little Farmer's Farm, please hit that notification bell icon, because that then will notify you when we've got an upload on. Not that you'll need much notification, because it's every bloody night, in it? But um, if ever you miss one, at least you know what to do. Right, I'll see you later. This is Guru Mafinda signing out. If I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. And remember, keep on growing with the head down, and we love you all. Tatty bye. See you later, boys and girls.